Hey guys, I just wanted to remind you of something. When you see the little eye, I'm not sure where it will be, usually it's up in the corner, the little eye with the circle around it, that means that I have put in extra uh, videos that are linked to this video, which means that if this is a video about rabbits, if I have any other videos about rabbits, I will put them up and all you have to do is scroll over that little eye and it will make this little drop down list of all the videos that I've linked in that relate to rabbits. So if you like goat milk, or goat videos and you see a little eye up in the corner of the screen put your cursor over it and it will drop it will um, it will drop down a list of all the videos that I think are good enough for you to go see so make sure that you look in every video for that little eye so that you know where to go because we have something around the neighborhood of 1500 videos and I know that sometimes it's hard for you guys to find them because they're out there everywhere and this is uh, the way for you to be able to find them, for me to put up my favorites so that you can go watch them. Hey guys, I am Dirt Patch Heaven and I wanted to share with you how I do my winter chores. This morning and last night it was negative four degrees Fahrenheit and um, that is not as cold as it gets here. It can get down to negative 40. Uh, I do remember a winter when that happened and we had livestock that froze to the ground. So winter chores are super important and I'm going to walk you through my routine. The secret to winter chores is to protect yourself as much as you do your animals from the cold. So I milk in the garage. I put my milk bucket up on the bench. I have the grain ready for the goat. And then I go out and do all the feeding and watering before I do any milking because as soon as I'm finished milking, I need to get that milk into the house, get it clean, get it cold. And I don't want to have to come out twice. I have the goats as close to the house as I can get because they're the ones that are the most labor to take care of. You have food, you have water, you have milking. So I have the water heater down in the blue bucket so that the animals are not chewing on the cord. And also because the more water you have, the more mass you have, the, the less the water heater has to turn on. So I'm going to fill up the white water bucket is theirs. I have the other bucket in here to keep that bucket from tipping over in the water that I have in the bottom. Um, I like the way that I have, sorry mama, I like the way that I have things set up because it, it, they have multiple IBC totes that they can get on into depending on which way the wind is blowing. They can be out here in the sunshine if they want to be. And um, so I'm gonna go fill up their water and then I will get them their food. The kids are out in the greenhouse taking care of rabbits and quail. Um, again, we have things split so that we can figure out which works better, being outside for the rabbits and poultry or having them in the greenhouse. When it's this cold and the rabbit's water stays frozen, I give them um, pumpkin as well. And it looks like Paige has not fed them yet. So I need to have her come out and do that. For the ducks, I keep their water right below the pump so that if I have any splash over, it gives them new water and their bucket of food next to it. So here's the girls eating their food. This is not the warmest side. The warmest side is on the other side of the deck where we have all of that white siding that reflects onto the white snow and it's actually very warm on the other side. Um, I, I like them to have more space. This is, and this again protects them from the wind a lot better than the lean-to does. And it's closer to the house so I can check on them. This is our haystack. You wanna make sure that you have it tucked in and tucked down so that you don't have snow melting into your hay in the winter if you have a warm, a warm streak. Come on, Mama. 
Mama. Let's go. And Chai thinks that she needs to come too. And then she runs back. And then Camille sits and waits for me. This is, goats hate, hate rain. They hate snow. They hate water. And so, if what you're trying to do is milk them, and you have to be out in the weather to be able to do it, they are not gonna stand for you. They're not gonna let their milk down. They're gonna be miserable. And on top of that, you're gonna be miserable. So, we'll see if I can flip this around and show you how I milk. All right, so we're gonna show you how we milk. I try to keep my gloves on until I milk, but it's only four below right now, four below Fahrenheit. And so I didn't have my gloves on and she's not gonna thank me for that. Sorry, I try not to just video my butt. I just finished milking. We're gonna take chamomile out, so we'll show you how we do that. I don't want cats getting in, so I pull her through and put her up so you're not gonna see very much right now. Unhook her. Come on, Mama. Get her turned around. Come on. And I don't let go. If I let go of her, the first place she runs is the uh, living fence. And it's not that I don't want her to harvest from the living fence. I just, uh, I don't have to catch her again. She's giving about three quarts a day, milking once a day. This is chamomile. Everybody else is bred up, but she's not bred yet. We're going to wait till February. So... I'm gonna go put her up and give the other does some grain as well. It's so cold. If you ever see your goat shivering, bad, bad, well, any of your livestock actually shivering, it's a really bad sign. You need to hyper feed them. None of my goats are shivering right now, but it is the coldest night that we've had so far. Again, down to negative four, and it's still about that cold now. Um, at that point, you need to take any food that they're used to eating so that you're not making their stomach upset and give them plenty of it. So um, you don't ever want to give them too much grain, but if they're used to grain, I would grain them well on a day that's really cold and make sure that they have more than enough hay to eat and that it's of really high quality. Otherwise, you'll have animals that you'll wake up in the morning and you'll have dead animals because they, they got too cold. If they it, it, Shivering, never a good sign, and it means you need to do something now. Always make sure to put your lids back on your feed. Um, in particular, if my cats get stuck in the garage, they will use my grain as a litter box. Hey girls. You guys have already seen this in my um, goat milking video, but this is my setup. I got this from Hoger for $50. It's a lifesaver. You can make the same thing out of a honey bucket by just cutting out a half moon. Um, the only thing is it needs to be shorter than the goat's udder, but tall enough that it's actually big enough to hold all their milk. This is a reusable coffee strainer. Instead of buying the, the paper plastic ones, um, coffee filters do not work. The fat in the milk keeps things from draining through correctly. So if you're not going to use a reusable coffee filter like this one, you need to get the, uh, the filters that are made for milk. And that's my setup. So that's how much we get from chamomile. We only milk once a day. 
and it's more than enough. About every three days I make, I turn all of it into yogurt and um, it's still, how many is that? That's what, three, three gallons a week, three and a half gallons a week that we get from just our one goat. And um, I'm gonna put a lid on it, put it in the fridge, it'll cool down quickly. And this can be drunk by the kids or I can put a lid on it and save it for later or oatmeal or something. Hey guys, so first off, cameras can be so stinking finicky. Um, I tried to take this outside, but because I'm so pale, all the light reflects off of me and makes everything look really white and dry, and it makes me look 15 years older than I am. So here I am down in my low light cave where my bright white skin doesn't show up as like tales of the crypt. So anyway, this is probably just a cathartic part that I'm going to say on camera because I want to say it on camera or I want to say it to somebody and the camera is my audience. So I'm going to start this over now. This video 